generally you would create multiple dimension styles depending on the project size that you're working on. So that way you can like alternate between the different sizes and use one that works for your purpose. So for the purpose of floor plans, usually these sizes work. But anyway, to save you time, I actually created a few dimension styles that you can basically just copy and paste within your project or drawing. And that will load like all the different styles uh, with all the different sizes, like with the recommended size. And I'll show you. So basically it's this file right here. So what I will do to like copy these dimension styles from this file to our drawing is I will select all of them. And then from here, I will do command C and then I'll, back, I'll go back to our project and then I'll place it here. I'll do command V right here and that will place it on my drawing. And now you will see when we go to the dimension style manager, I'll click on it again from this icon. And then here you will see that all the styles got loaded. And just so you know, just to show you how you can use this, um, you basically can reference like the uh, the style name uh, from the left and like on the right, I wrote like the scale that is recommended to use. So for our purpose, we're gonna, we're gonna start using it immediately. So I will get rid of the, the dimensions we created. And now I will switch the current dimension style. I will use the one called 48. This is the size that's recommended for um, for like a quarter inch scale uh, of a floor plan. And usually it's good for a floor plan. So here, what I will do is I'll use it, click here and then here. So this one, maybe I'll go with the, with the next style. So maybe let's do a set of the quarter. So let's do the one that is 3 16 of an inch, uh, 64. This one will give us a bigger size of a dimension size or like the text of it essentially. So we'll go back here and we will switch and make this one the current instead. And then I'll close. And then we'll go back to the dimension command and I'll click on this corner and then this corner and place the dimension. And I just like this text size. I think it's good for the rest of uh, the tutorial for that. One more thing I wanna mention about the dimension command is that AutoCAD actually has multiple dimension commands available for your use. Uh, the one I'm using, again, it's called Dimension Linear. You can access additional commands by uh, holding, clicking and holding on this icon, and you will see a list of these commands, and you can like alternate between them. We might use the one called Dimension Align down the line. Uh, for the most part, I use the one called Linear, uh, the one that's angular. This one allows you to measure the angle, basically, and then this one for the arc. Uh, this one, these two are related to the circle. I haven't used the last two, the ones called jogged and ordinate. I'm not familiar with them. Um, never dealt with them before. So I don't, I'm not sure if you're going to need to use them. But anyway, um, I recommend using linear, align, and the rest if you ever need them. There's one more cool dimension command available in AutoCAD, and it's this one right here. Uh, it's just called dimension. So I'm going to click on it. And this one, the way it works, it's interesting where it will measure the object without you like specifying the points. So for example, if I put the cursor above like this line here, you will see it will try to create like a dimension of the entire object um, and it recognizes like the beginning and the end of it. And then based on where you put the mouse, it will choose like the direction, whether if I move it to the right, it will place it on the right side. And then if I move to the left, uh, if I click now, it will place it on the left. So you just need to then like specify how far from the object is. So I don't use this one in my workflow, but you're welcome to use it as well. Uh, I know it's pretty fast, but I haven't like kind of used it. So uh, I think we'll just use it now just to place the rest of the dimensions. Um, maybe I'll start using it going forward uh, for future tutorials. So we'll place this here. I like to align the dimensions. And then we'll do this one as well. Then I'm, I want to see this line right here. Okay, so this line to here. And then I think we got all of them for the most part. Uh, I'm just going to do, so here's here's a scenario where this is not very handy, is that I want to measure from this corner to this corner. So this one is not going to maybe allow me to do that. But let's try. I think I can click here. I can click here. Okay, so coming out a lot like it's coming out angular but i do want it to the right side so okay i think it's not a bad it's not a terrible command so maybe we'll keep using it but anyway i'm going to click escape now and i'm going to select this dimension uh, as you can see the control points for the dimensions are different than the rest so this one will allow me to stretch it here uh, and i want to stretch this one this one i'm actually going to move it so that way it's here 
and then uh, and then these two can stay here. This is all good. I think one thing I want to show you is that you can stretch the dimension even though you're referencing like from that point, you can just stretch down. So that way it's a little away. So this one is to here. So I just want to make them like showing the overall and for us like to not conflict them with like with other lines that we have, like to not conflict them with the wall lines. So I like cleaning them. It's up to you. You're welcome to do similar to everything I'm doing. Okay, and I think we have all the dimensions and then just one more here to fix and we are good to go to the next one.